James Blunt is James the Wine Guy, a beautiful gamay noir next. Stay tuned for this review. So here's what we have. I think this is really elegant, beautiful, and something where I'm, I am I just adore this wine. I was in Paris in September 2016 of this year, and for me, being there, putting foot on ground, I had so many amazing tasting menus, and um, often with that was a um, um, wine from Fleury in Beaujolais, and I thought that was a really great way of tasting through. And it just, you know, I had so many thoughtful wine selections with the pairings, food pairings, that I was just really in heaven. So so here's what we have, Domaine de Cartes Vent, uh, Fleury is the appellation. So appellation Fleury Contrôlé, back label. Now this wine is a 14% ABV. Um, I think it's a really handsome, beautiful wine. Uh, $21.99 is the SRP on this wine. This grape variety is Gamay Noir and it is just so compelling, so beautiful. So this feels like it's a Pinot Noir wine uh, in some ways and then it gets too dense and heavier um, for this to be a Pinot Noir, but in other ways, it gives us a different flavor characterization. And when you're tasting through, you're like, okay, this is not Pinot Noir, uh, but it really has that Pinot Noir as quality, which I think is really hard to define, but I would say a bit of the floral characteristics, uh, deep red, black fruit notes, some spice notes, uh, but a heavier quality, in my opinion, than many a Pinot Noir. Uh, so here we go, first of the point score, 93 points out of 100 points. Uh, you know, a lot of people have Beaujolais Nouveau on Thanksgiving. I don't. I purposely don't do that, but I definitely have a bottle of Gamay Noir, especially from uh, Beaujolais, coming from a fine appellation like Fleury. I think that's a really high point. It is something that's just thoughtful, remarkable, beautiful. And uh, so my Thanksgiving table is always unique and different. And I really don't want the same wine varieties. In fact, I ask people to bring specific bottles of wine or specific varieties and maybe not specific producers. I want people to obviously bring what they want to bring. And the reason I do that is not because I'm trying to be, you know, uh, directing the wine table or the, the Thanksgiving meal. Uh, it's just that people ask me, what should I bring? And a lot of, and of course, everybody knows I'm James the wine guy. So they really stop and take a pulse check and say, what do you want me to bring? And it's more than that. People are like, you know, what specific wine variety would you like me to bring? And I think that's a great thing. I'm really privileged to have that. So I, I think that, you know, this is really a handsome, gorgeous wine for the fall time, for autumn, for beautiful large meals, or, you know, I would say to enjoy just with a simple meal as well. And I think for me, how I'm gonna enjoy this wine is to think of this. So for me to enjoy this wine is to enjoy it in a way that I think is to enjoy all year round, not just for an autumnal meal, which I definitely love, but uh, it's one where, you know, when I was in Paris tasting, uh, you know, great food and tasting menus, um, you know, this was offered every single meal and it just wasn't offered because it was September. It was a year round offering. And I think that's when you think of these wines differently. So here we go first, a point score, 93 points out of 100 points. So this is many notes of red cherry, pomegranate, cedar spice, a bit of uh, red flowers on this as well. I, I just love the signature of uh, red, black fruit notes, pepper, uh, rose petal, cardamom, and bay leaf. So you get all that signature of um, the herbaceous quality to the uh, floral, to the spice notes, and uh, the beautiful, um, you know, significant uh, characterization of fruit notes and fruit qualities as well. So again, 93 points out of 100 points. I'll put more information on this producer down below. Questions and comments can be listed there as well. And guess what's down below? The like button. So please hit that button if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate that. And subscribe, it's right up here. So please hit that button if you haven't done so already. Thank you for your support. Spread the word about this particular uh, channel. I really appreciate that as well. And uh, let's have a connection. And uh, if you have questions, you can do. And let's say connect. I'm on a variety of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. And uh, your, again, your support is very much appreciated. So stay tuned for more reviews to come of great wines from all around the planet. Sante.